Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 118. That is, what are the different SDLC phases? Let me answer. SDLC stands for software development life cycle. And in this SDLC, there are several phases. So what are the different phases we have in this uh, software development life cycle that is SDLC? The different phases we have are requirements gathering and analysis, which is the first phase of SDLC. Okay, the first phase of SDLC is requirements gathering and analysis. Followed by this phase, we have design phase. And followed by that, we have the third phase that is implementation phase. Then we have the testing phase. Then followed by that, we have deployment. And finally, we have the maintenance phase. These are the different phases of SDLC. Coming to the first phase of SDLC, requirements gathering and analysis. In this phase, the requirements will be gathered. Okay, as the name speaks, the required requirements using which the software has to be developed and tested will be gathered in this phase. So requirements will be gathered and also analyzed. Okay, in this phase itself, the requirements, gathered requirements are going to be analyzed. As part of requirements gathering, the business analyst will create a BRS document, okay? A BRS document, business requirement specifications document will be created by the business analyst as part of requirements gathering. And as part of analysis, the technical team using this BRS document given by the business analyst, the technical team will prepare something known as SRS, Software Requirement Specifications Document, will be created. So the outcome of this requirements gathering and analysis phase is BRS and SRS, okay? BRS will be created by business analyst, whereas SRS will be created by the technical team. And followed by the requirements gathering and analysis uh, phase, followed by this phase, we have the design phase, okay? In this design phase, the technical team, okay, that is the development team or technical team, whatever you call, will come up with the low-level designs and high-level designs, okay? The technical team will come up with the low level and high level. Low level means architecture kind of designs, okay? So internally, how the systems should work, how the things should be integrated, that is low level designs, okay? High level designs means the look and feel of the application, the design screens, okay? Uh, which look like uh, the real application screens, right? Uh, how the application should lo look like after developing such kind of uh, high level designs, okay? Internal designs will be low level designs and uh, the external designs, how the application should look like, which color combination and all. Uh, when you are using the application, how should you feel? All those things will be part of the high-level design, okay? So after the design phase is completed, after this low-level and high-level designs are ready, then we'll move on to the implementation phase. Implementation phase is nothing but the coding phase, which is generally performed by the developers, okay? So it's uh, here, as part of the implementation, co uh, implementation phase, the code required for developing the application will be developed by the developers in this phase, okay? The developers will be developing the code, uh, based on these requirements and designs. Okay, developers will be using the requirements and uh, designs, this BRS, SRS and design documents they will use and write the code for developing the application as part of the implementation phase. Once the development of the application is completed, then testing phase will start, okay? The next phase we have is the testing phase. In testing phase, the software testers will be performing the testing on the developed application functionalities. Okay, developed application will be tested by the software testers in this phase. So, and once the testing is completed, okay, once the testing, here software testers will use this BRS document to cross-check whether the developers have developed the application according to the specified requirements or not, according to the specified low-level and high-level designs or not. The testing team will actually check here, and uh, if they are satisfied, then they will approve the testing, okay? They will, uh, okay, finalize the build or whatever it is. And finally, uh, the situation comes where the application becomes stable and the application is confirmed as developed according to the requirements and user needs and expectations by the testing team then we'll go on to the next phase that is a deployment phase here as part of the deployment phase the developed application which is developed and tested by the developed by the developers and tested by the testers and approved the quality right such kind of application will be released into the market okay deployed into the market developed and tested application will be released into the market in this deployment phase guys okay so this is what is a deployment phase and once the application is developed and uh, uh, tested and uh, deployed into the market, that is released into the market, it's not the end of the story of any software, okay? So if you see any examples like amazon.com or flipkart.com, they keep on evolving, okay? If you see, uh, go and see like uh, how the flipkart.com or amazon.com looks in 2008 year or 2015 year or whatever it is. Now, as per today's date, it is 2022. So the way it looks now is different from the way it looks uh, in the olden days, okay? So you see, the release of that Amazon or Flipkart.com happened very long back, but still it's not the end of the software, right? 
So a lot of new features keep on adding to the existing software and uh, it will run in a maintenance mode. Once the deployment is done, it's not the end of the software, guys. So we'll, the software will go into the maintenance phase and um, new functionalities will be added to the existing uh, software. Then the existing functionalities of the software will be modified. Unnecessary functionalities will be removed and so on will happen. So this, all these things will happen as part of the maintenance phase and the software keeps on evolving over a period of time as part of the maintenance phase. So guys, these are the several phases of SDLC that is requirements gathering and analysis, design phase, implementation phase, that is coding phase, then testing phase, deployment and maintenance phase. So hope guys, you got the answer for what are the different SDLC phases. So that's all for this session. The next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you, bye-bye.